There are a lot of people who are ripe to tear you down. All they need is a good enough reason. I'm going to give them that reason. Have Gun, Will Travel. Starring Mr. John Daner as Paladin. San Francisco, 1875, the Carlton Hotel, headquarters of the man called Paladin. Hey, boy. Oh, Mr. Paladin. Oh, I did not see you sitting there. Uh, hey, boy, think you up in Rome playing chess. Why are you down here? I'm waiting for my carriage. Carriage? Oh, oh, no. Oh, my, no. Yes. And where have you been the last two hours? Oh, I get a carriage right away. No, no, wait a minute, hey, boy. It's already been taken care of. Oh. It'll be here in a few minutes. Uh, would you mind taking this bag out for me? Oh, my. Oh, please forgive me, Sir Paladin. Hey, boy, forget you leave this afternoon. Mm-hmm. Well, where have you been? Hmm? Oh, uh, uh, they have uh, trouble up on fourth floor. Uh-huh. Uh, 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 Missy Wong ask uh, Hey Boy for help, and uh, I'll take back out to front court now. <laughs> Miss Wong, uh, I knew I shouldn't have asked. Well, we better get out there. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, hey, what's the name of this place you go to in uh, Colorado Territory? Well, at least you remembered it was Colorado. The town's called Alder Bend. Oh, a nice place? I don't know. I've never been there before. I'll let you know when I get back. This is the cold season. What do medical authorities say about the common cold? Doctors tell us there's no known drug which will cure a cold. There are effective medications for treating complications accompanying or following a cold. If you've been taking sensible precautions and still have one cold after another, it's best to see your doctor. And here's another important health tip. When you have a cold and need a laxative, that's the time to rely on gentle X-lax. Pleasant-tasting, chocolated X-lax helps you toward your normal regularity gently overnight. X-lax gets along with any cold remedies you may be taking, and X-lax works where nature wants, in the lower tract, not the stomach. Taken at bedtime, X-lax won't disturb sleep, gives you the closest thing to natural action the next morning. You're well on your way toward your normal regularity without upset or discomfort. So when you have a cold and need a laxative, take X-Lax, the laxative you can use with complete confidence. X-Lax helps you toward your normal regularity gently overnight. X-Lax. A man named Ira Stokes had asked me to come to Alder Bend. He hadn't disclosed the nature of my assignment, but since he had offered me $1,000, I felt the least I could do was make the trip. It was early in the morning, and the main street was empty as I rode through to the livery stable at the far end of town. Just outside the stable door was a giant of a man standing with his feet apart and his huge body braced as he methodically lashed out with a whip at a thoroughbred bay tied to the hitch rack. I dismounted and hurried toward him. Stop that! Hey, what do you think you're doing? I said you stop it. You hear me? Look, you, whoever you are, I don't take to no one interfering in my business. I don't take to anyone beating a horse. This horse and me are going to get along just fine. As soon as he learns who is... Oh, you raise that whip once more and I'll use Nobody it Nobody talks to me like that. I'll raise this No, whip. no, you don't. Hmm? You just give me that whip now. Give it to me. Give it to me. Yeah. Now. Now. Uh, Suppose you just move on. You're new here, mister. What's that got to do with it? This is my town. Nobody pushes me around. I wouldn't plan to stay too long if I was you. Hey, mister, you know who that is? I don't much care. There's Ira Stokes. Uh, Ira Stokes? Hmm. Uh, you want to board your horse? Are you going to be here long? Well, under the circumstances, I don't think so. 
Even before I received my assignment, it appeared that my business in Alder Bend was finished. However, I felt an obligation, or maybe just a curiosity, to show up at the Stokes Ranch at the appointed time. Just inside the main gate, there was a very pretty woman working in a flower bed. She glanced up at me as I rode by. I told her I was looking for Ira Stokes, and without speaking, she pointed towards the barn and quickly turned away. I rode on through the grounds. Ooh. <laughs> Mr. Stokes? What are you doing here? Well, you sent for me. What? what are you talking about? My name is Paladin. You're Paladin? You had a job for me. Well, you ain't the man for the job. Yep, you may be right. On second thought, maybe you are at that. I'm not one to hold a grudge if a man's useful to me. And what's the job? I got a man I want you to kill. I'm not a hired killer. Worth a thousand dollars to me if a certain man wasn't in my way anymore. Sorry? Two thousand. Not interested. Three. Look, every man's got his price. What's yours? Mr. Stokes, why is it worth $3,000 to you to have a man killed? <laughs> My method. Method? It's one way to tame a horse or a woman or a town. Let them know who's boss. And this works? It never fails. And I got my horses and my woman pretty well in line, and excepting for one man, I could have this town where it should be. Ah. But since this man won't get smart, I gotta get rid of him. Now, you take the job? <clears throat> nope. I'm not a hired killer, Mr. Stokes. Good day, ma'am. Thank you for your directions. Are, are you Mr. Paladin? Yes. Is he where he can see me? Uh, no, no, he's on the other side of the barn. I'm Leah Stokes. And Mr. Paladin, don't do it. Don't do what? Kill Carl. Well, I have no intention of killing anyone, but who is Carl? Carl Nielsen. You see, I know that's why my husband sent for you. Oh, no, no. I didn't accept his proposition, Mrs. Stokes. Oh, Oh, that's good. Carl's decent. He's... Uh, you must excuse me, Mr. Paladin. Ira mustn't see me talking to you. If you're smoking more today, but enjoying it less, try Camels. The Camel blend of costly Turkish and domestic tobaccos has never been equal for rich flavor, easygoing mildness, real smoking satisfaction every time you light up. The best tobacco makes the best smoke. Have a real cigarette, a real cigarette, a real cigarette, have a Camel! Apparently, Leah Stokes had learned who was boss, and she had more than likely learned it the hard way. I rode back into Alder Bend, and I felt very sorry for the town that, except for one man, was ready to knuckle under to Ira Stokes, and I wished that one man, wherever he was, a long and abundant life. As I started into my hotel, I noticed an office building directly across the street. The lettering on the window read, Carl Nielsen, attorney at law. I decided to pay him a visit. Uh, you Mr. Nielsen? Yes, sir. What can I do for you? My name is Paladin. Sit down. Thank you. Uh, my card? Have gun, will travel. 
Thank you very much. I don't need any right now. No, no, I'm, I'm not soliciting business. I have a job. And that is, there's a job I could have if I wanted it. Oh? Yes. I could make $3,000. Well, sounds like a good deal. Uh-huh. All I'd have to do is kill you. I see. Ira Stokes. Hmm? You don't seem too surprised. No, I somehow felt this was his next move. What's behind this, Mr. Nielsen? Well, yeah, Ira had a pretty good thing going until I set up shop here. Oh? Uh-huh. Alder Bend has gone through a real tough period since the bottom fell out of the cattle market. Most people have barely managed to hang on. But once that railroad gets through, it's going to be different. Property around here is going to be worth something. Yes, I've seen it happen. Stokes was grabbing up every piece of land he could lay his dirty hands to, and most of it he fleeced from the people with one crooked trick or another. How could he get away with it? These ranchers don't have business heads. They don't know their rights, never read the fine print. Well, I've been reading it for them, giving free legal advice to anybody who wants it. Uh huh. But what do you get out of it? Just one thing. Satisfaction. I was raised in Alder Bend. The town deserves a better shake than it'd get if Stokes had the control he's after. Oh. Well, Nielsen, I'm leaving in the morning. Maybe the next man who comes along will need $3,000 more than I do, so watch it. Thanks, Paladin. After dinner, I tried the one saloon open in town. There were two old men at a table in the far corner playing a game of cribbage. I was the only other customer. I had a beer, went back to my hotel, but I couldn't sleep. So I read a copy of Pilgrim's Progress somebody had left on the bedstand. Then I paced the room, looked out of the window. The town was silent, dark, except for the one light that shone from Nielsen's office, and I decided to go see him. As I started across the street, I heard a shot muffled and indistinct, and then I saw the crouched figure of a man run into the blackness between the buildings. Hey, you! Stop! Stop, I say! Ah. Nielsen! Nielsen! Hey, Carl! Hey, what's going on in there, mister? Nielsen, he's been shot. Hey, why are you running? Come on back here. If dandruff dulls your hair, leaves your scalp itchy, please listen. You can get rid of annoying dandruff so fast today, no one should suffer any longer. With Fitch Dandruff Remover Shampoo, unsightly dandruff's gone in three minutes. It's the quickest, easiest of all leading shampoos. Besides that, using Fitch regularly is guaranteed to keep embarrassing dandruff away. Simply apply in the unique Fitch manner. Before you wet hair, rub in one minute. This way, Fitch Shampoo penetrates right down to the scalp. Next, add water. Lather one minute to wash every trace of dandruff out of your hair. Then rinse one minute. All that loosened dandruff goes down the drain. In three minutes with Fitch, one rubbing, one lathering, one rinsing, dandruff's gone. And while removing dandruff, Fitch can also brighten hair up to 35%. To get rid of dandruff problems forever, brighten hair too. Use Fitch regularly. Get Fitch Dandruff Remover Shampoo today. Only 59 cents. My shot had awakened the town, but there was no time for explanations. I felt sure that when I'd fired, I'd hit the man, but he kept on going. I took note of his direction and knew with time on my side, I could head him off. So I ran to the livery. The stable hand was asleep on a cot in the corner. Hey, you. Hey, come on, wake up. Huh? 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 What's that? Come on, come on, come on. I need my horse. Huh? What? My horse. Hurry. I have to get out of here. Oh, God, what's the matter with you, mister? Come on. Now, here. Here he is, this stall. Now, where'd you hang my saddle? Oh, what's your hurry? Oh, will you just move? There's been a shooting. I don't have any time to waste. Shooting? Just get my bridle down, will you? But say, mister... Oh, you... never mind. Just Here. All right, now you get my saddle and hurry, will you? 
Come on, boy, keep your head down. All right, stranger. Put, uh, You're covered, so don't give us no trouble. Sheriff, this man come in here waking me up, talking about a shooting, and, and like how he has to get out fast. Yeah, I know, Charlie. Now stand back. We got him now. All right, stranger. Just get them hands up, and don't cry anything. Say, hey, what's the matter with you? Don't you realize that Nielsen's been shot? Sure, we know. B- but the man who shot him will get away. No, he won't. We got him, and we got him real good. Come on, let's have that gun you done the dirty work with. Oh, now, look, Sheriff. Look. Let's go. Here's your breakfast. Uh, thank you. Uh, Sheriff. Yeah? I want to talk to you. What about? You've got the wrong man locked up. Look, stranger, I've been in this business 30 years. If I had a nickel for every time somebody behind them bars had told me that, I'd be a rich man. But what are you charging me with? Well, it's liable to be murder. How's Nielsen? He ain't good. He must have seen the man who shot him. He could clear me. Nielsen ain't talking any right now, and it's a chancy thing whether he ever talks again. Sheriff, the man who shot Nielsen has my bullet in him. I could have trailed him last night. We caught you dead to rights. You shot him and your getaway didn't work out. People like you all have crossed themselves up sooner or later. So why don't you just shut up and take what's coming to you? And just what is that? Well, we'll allow you all your rights by law. Circuit judge due to show up here another month or so. Another month? And we'll get up a jury, people here in town. There's one thing you might as well know. Carl was born and raised here, and Alder Bend is mighty proud of him. Folks ain't going to show much mercy to anybody that did him harm. Oh, this miserable cold. And my sinuses. Haven't you heard about Dristan? Dristan decongestant tablets for real relief from cold's misery and sinus congestion. Dristan is the revolutionary three-layer tablet which for the first time makes it possible to unite certain medically proven ingredients into one fast-acting, uncoated tablet. Dristan not only helps drain all eight sinus cavities, critical areas of cold's infection, but circulating through the blood, Dristan's decongestant reaches all congested areas, shrinks all swollen membranes, relieves pressure and pain. An exclusive anti-allergent helps keep breathing passages dry and clear. Pain relievers reduce body aches, fever. Vitamin C helps build body resistance. This is Dristan. Today, Dristan is widely imitated. But the exclusive Dristan formula cannot be duplicated. There's nothing, nothing like Dristan decongestant tablets. I realized that my only hope was that Nielsen would clear me. But three days passed and he still hadn't regained consciousness. My cell had a high, barred window, and by standing on my cot, I could observe what went on outside. What I saw was disturbing. News of the shooting had spread. Alder Bend had come to life. The street was filled with men in groups, talking, building up hate. I'd seen it before, when I was on the other side of the bars. Paladin? Yeah. Regardless of how I feel about things personally, I got my job to do here. And I don't like what's going on out there. Yeah. Well, I don't care for it myself. When men start working themselves up into a lynching, it only takes one little thing to trigger them. Yeah, I know that. Sheriff? Oh, Leah, in here. Sheriff, I want to talk to you. Well, all right, we'll go into my office. No, I want to talk to Mr. Paladin, too. Uh, Mrs. Stokes, I want you to know that I did not shoot Carl Nielsen. I know you didn't shoot him, Mr. Paladin. Three days I've been knowing this. Knowing Mr. Paladin was in jail for something he didn't do. Knowing Carl Nielsen might die. Hating myself for keeping quiet, but still afraid. And then this morning, Ira... Well, suddenly, I've just had enough. Suddenly, I'm not afraid anymore. What are you trying to say, Leah? Three nights ago, Ira came home with a bullet wound in his shoulder. He told me what he'd done. And I guess he was so sure of me, so sure I was too afraid of him to ever say anything... 
Sheriff, my husband shot Carl Nielsen. Ira? Yes. And I've told all those men out there, and now I'm telling you. Ira Stokes has bullied all of us long enough. I guess you'd better go out to the ranch and arrest him. Well, Leah... Get busy with those keys, Sheriff. If you're going to arrest Stokes, I want to be there. Hey, Sheriff, that looked like the whole 7th Cavalry was following us out of town back there. All citizens of these parts. I had to discourage them from trailing us all the way. They felt like you. If I was going to arrest Stokes, they wanted to see it. I guess the town has had enough of Ira, too. Yeah. Well, might as well check the house first. He's either here or in the barn. What's that? I don't know. It sounds like Stokes. Yeah, over there by the corral. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Come on, come on. Come on. Well, that horse is stomping him. Yeah. Sheriff, I'll get the horse away. You drag him out. All right. No, no, easy, boy. Easy. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. Easy, boy. Easy, boy. Easy, boy. Easy now. Sheriff? Yeah, stomped him to death. Looks like that bay had enough of Ira, too. Next time you refresh, enjoy a frosty, ice-cold Pepsi-Cola. Sociability, Charlie. All right, Kay, how's this? Pepsi is light, refreshes without filling. You like to refresh? Have a Pepsi right now. Well, offer it to everybody, Charlie. I will. Enjoy Pepsi at the fountain. It's delicious at home, too. Have one at lunch or with a snack. Charlie. At the beach or at dinner. Wherever you go, wherever you're thirsty. Pepsi is there. It's here, too, in our Be Sociable song. Be sociable, look smart, keep up to date with Pepsi. Drink light, refreshing Pepsi. Stay young and fair and debonair. Be sociable, have a Pepsi. For the weekend, have plenty of Pepsi around. Pick up an extra carton today. CK? I'm sociable. With Pepsi, everyone is. Have Gun, Will Travel. Created by Herb Meadow and Sam Rolfe, is produced and directed in Hollywood by Frank Paris and stars John Daner as Paladin with Ben Wright as Hey Boy and Virginia Gregg as Miss Wong. Tonight's story was specially written for Have Gun, Will Travel by Ann Dowd. Featured in the cast were Ann Morrison, Lawrence Dobkin, Tim Graham, Herb Vigran, and Vic Parent. This is Hugh Douglas inviting you to join us again next week when CBS Radio presents Have Gun, Will Travel. 